ಸೊ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಓದಿರಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಓದ್ತೀವಿ ಇನಿಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಕೂಡ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ಇದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಸೊ ಆ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ನ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನಾವ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ನ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅವ್ರ ಹೇಗೆ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫುಡ್ ಅನ್ನ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಹೇಗೆ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯಾ ಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಐಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ this is this are like super important to understand all the other chapters if you don't understand properly uh, in those first chapters the first 10 chapters then you will have trouble understanding other chapters also if you don't understand how the carbohydrates and uh, production will happening or how the cell is uh, getting something or cell is uh, developing all those things you can't understand or you can't easily understand how the different tissues are formed or how we will go for the biotechnology okay so all those things 12th is like more curious yeah it's, it's always like that right so uh, instead of having uh, we normally go for the something which we don't have uh, but the issue like when you cover the 11th properly 12th will, 12th will be more awesome okay if you understand what is cell what is chromosome what is chromatin and all the things you can easily and go with the mendelian and molecular genetics and the biotechnology if you don't understand these things very basic things then you will trouble to understand those things uh, then you will stuck with somewhere uh, you can't go here and you can't go there also so that's the like problematic thing right so okay guys like almost most of the people are here okay good evening dikshit and so many people here also good evening good evening ah uh, one thing first question first before start recording and all the things are you guys read second chapter or not okay the are you guys read second chapter uh, our notes or not click on yes or no okay that's the first thing click on yes or no so that depends upon today's class okay so okay okay uh, i have like 70 something people here and i got only like 10 something uh, yes or no and what about youtube guys so uh, if you haven't read the things then doing the class is completely waste okay or disaster because like uh, you should have something right ha uh, bramaya good ha uh, venkat why are you sending your heads to me <laughs> okay yes uh, that's better than uh, i will uh, start recording then okay so we'll start our class uh, at least at least 25% of you read the uh, second chapter that's really good okay so yes we are continuing the cell unit of life and uh, before we going to start the class we will revise certain things what we uh, read yesterday okay uh, ignore this uh, old questions so first we are thinking about the introduction the cell is a fundamental structural and functional unit of the living cell and robert hook first discovered the cell but he discovered the non living cell then and one only one hook actually discovered the or observed the first living cell based on the different kinds of cell sledan and squan formulated the cell theory and they stated like all living organisms are composed of cells and product of the cells okay uh, yeah one second guys and later ha such an idea later actually robert uh, sorry rudolf virchow came and based on working on different tissues especially on the morphogen tissues he come to the one thing that omnicellular acellular that means all cell uh, all cells must be arise from the free existing cells only so later based on that we formulated different different uh, new statements to the cell theory okay uh, as we do a overview a mycoplasma will be the smallest cell and a largest cell will be egg of the ostrich virus and virus we not consider that as consider as a cell because it don't have the peculiar characters right and longest cell is the nerve cells which can which can grow for like several centimeters 
and regular size of the bacteria will be 3 to 5 micrometer and human rbc will be 7 micrometer just you can compare the size of the bacteria to our one of the cells okay so later we divide about the structures and all the things so there are like several types of the structures uh, within that a cell they are normally specified to their function but in majorly we will divide into prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell right so in prokaryotic cell we are thinking about the different kinds so that means the kingdom monera which actually is comprised of in that you can normally find mycoplasma cyanobacteria and also different types of the bacteria so majorly we divide into four types of the bacteria it may be bacillus rod shaped or coccus spherical shaped vibrio or coma shaped or spirulum spiral shaped right so when you go for the cell components you have like several components but you don't have any membrane bound organelles so majorly cell envelope is made up of three layers glycocalyx cell wall and the plasma membrane and uh, similar to the uh, like it will give production to the that particular uh, bacteria also and based on their composition we divide into two types gram positive and gram negative depending upon retainment of the gram state to the bacteria gram stain means crystal violet okay we already see the procedure and next will be one second ah so what i did okay so the question came uh, so question is simple just uh, go through the question okay don't 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 if you saw the answers <laughs> no issue okay so the question is simple so come to the today's class we already revised the things right a major breakthrough in the studies of the cell came with the development of electron microscope okay they are saying like a major breakthrough happened because of the presence of the electron microscope why it is okay the options are electron beam can pass through thick matter also where a slight microscope requires thin sections okay probably that may be the answer or the electron microscope is more powerful sorry powerful than the light microscope as it uses a beam of electrons which has a wavelength much longer than that of a photon okay next one the resolution power of a electron microscope it's much higher than that of the light microscope and fourth one the resolving power of the electron microscope is 200 to 300 nanometer as compared to the 0.1 to 0.2 nanometer for the light microscope microscope i still giving you one like 10 seconds more to read out all the things and in youtube also you guys can read if you can't just go for the uh, larger mode that means uh, what is it landscape mode okay so i'm also having the mobile here so you guys can see that ha huh. okay then i can launch the poll it seems right so i will launch the poll guys so try to answer who are in the zoom try to answer in the uh, zoom poll section and who are in the youtube live can answer in the live chat okay and this question is asked in cbsc question paper 2006 and answer is pretty easy if you think so i told you right how you have to conclude a question sorry answer uh, first you have to read the question properly and you have to see what they are asking okay is it like I know you know all the answers, okay, but it's not like showing off, right? You have to answer for the questions only asked. That's what they are asking. So, okay, we have last 15 seconds. In YouTube, I'm not at all getting answer. I'm just waiting. Okay. Some of you guys are confused. Sorry, most. So many of you, so many guys. Uh, of you are confused i can understand that feeling <laughs> okay then mm, i will end the poll okay i will end the poll i already given extra some seconds uh no no if you are 100 not sure about the answer uh, then you can uh, leave the question. But the issue is like we will normally cover the things which is there, right? So uh, there is no negative, remember. So you can choose the answer also. <laughs> so I'm ending the poll and I'm sharing the results. 11% uh, is an option A, 35% B, 34% C, and 20% D. Okay, I'm stop sharing it.
so we'll go for what is the correct answer okay a major breakthrough is in the studies of cell came with a development of electron microscope this is because they are asking why that break, breakthrough happened okay what is the reason for that electron beam can pass through thick material also whereas light microscopy requires thin section okay uh if you remember one thing what we discussed in the earlier days i told you in electron microscope we can't see anything right so we will only get the repelled electrons uh, the sensor will be there that will detect those electrons and it will create an image by a peaks now it will create a peaks and by looking at the peaks the computer will generate an image right so we can't see anything so there is no matter of thick or thin and another thing is even in a electron microscope also you can't simply put a big fruit and you can't watch it uh, it also needs some of the procedure so this is not the correct answer the electron microscope is more powerful than the light microscope correct as it uses a beam of electron which has a wavelength uh, much longer than that of the photon actually you you guys have to answer me i don't know about the wavelength of and all those things so you guys tell me uh is it correct or not if it is not what is the correct what is the reason for that why that's not the correct uh, option so is is anything wrong with this particular one particular sentence it's vice versa okay 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 pawan self self said electrons will be there yeah electrons beam of electrons which has a wavelength of much longer wavelength is not more it is less you guys are saying yeah ha correct right pawan ha exactly so electrons have more frequencies so that means we can imagine about the other thing also so this is also not the correct answer the resolution power of the electron microscope is much higher than that of the light microscope exactly right so this is a correct thing okay we will mark it we don't have about four sentences anymore we will see the resolving power of the electron microscope is 200 to 350 nanometer as compared to the 0.1 to 0.0 nanometer for the light microscope it's exactly ulta right so and the light microscope which having the a uh, lesser uh, resolving power compared to the electron microscope but they gave a wrong statement so you can remove this so the correct answer is option 3 okay sometimes you have to think about lot of things uh, so and you have to differentiate between the things okay so so many of you help me uh, by choosing the correct answer thank you for that okay so we will go to the next question if you don't understand that question or answer correct answer uh, please to text here or you can discuss with your friends also okay so yeah we will go to the next question this is simple anyone everyone can answer okay so which one present in both prokaryote and eukaryotic cell this is the question i forgot to make it yellow okay which one is present in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell bihar 2004 uh, the options are ribosome mitochondria er and nucleus i can launch the poll i think everyone will give the correct answer i hope that okay it's it's a hope nothing else <laughs> so, no <laughs> my hope my exactly exactly so what what, what do you guys think is the first thing uh, you have to do when you see a question ha ha manvita we'll come back to that ha exactly right akshay mohan darshan uh, sorry exactly right so you have to read the question properly okay that, that's a, like very 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 basic thing to do okay so if you read the question properly then everything will be sorted out okay so uh, in this kind of exams in your neat you will have the options to choose uh, and before that you have to see like this are the correct answer or not i may know that or not okay in some of other exams like what our kind of exams what we have the exams we will have the options in multiple choice also okay we will have some of the questions and in that we only have to write only some of the questions like we will have some 75 questions in that we have to write only 25 questions okay that means 50 questions you will be having options 
you can leave it okay if you attend more than 25 also they will only consider first 25 so how can you go in that kind of situation you have the time for only 25 questions to answer but you have 75 question to check okay so what really matters is like how much in smaller duration you will see the question you think you know the concept or not you know the concept you have to try to read the question properly if you still see that you can understand it then you can go for the answers otherwise you have to go for the second answers that's what happening i gave the extra timings just to see like how many of you answer or not okay i'm ending the pool so remember guys always the first and the best things you have to read is do is read the question properly so there is some problem oh sorry guys i don't know sometime what happens is like my youtube live chat will not load okay then i have to close and i have to come back sorry so many of you gave the correct answer i thought none of you gave okay sorry sorry for that i'm sharing the results uh 54% chosen option a 11% b 5% c 30% d okay and in youtube everyone uh voted for option a exactly so uh, so you can directly go for the answer here right which one is present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes which one is present they are asking not absent okay so you have to think about both prokaryote and eukaryote so we will come from the below today only sorry yesterday only we discussed nucleus only present in the eukaryote because prokaryotes will don't have the nucleus they have the nucleoid right ha huh. yes exactly nucleoid in the prokaryotes what about er er means endoplasmic reticulum if you remember your ninth class right endoplasmic reticulum this is a membrane bound structure and it is only present in eukaryote and mitochondria is also membrane bound structure it's only present in uh, eukaryote now uh, what about mitochondria in prokaryote there is no pro mitochondria in prokaryote but they do have some other structures so we discussed today okay and the exact answer is ribosome if you remember uh, in second chapter we uh, discussed about types of ribosomes right there i told there are like two types of ribosomes will be there one will be the uh, 70s ribosome and another one will be the 80s ribosome exactly right if you remember these two types of the ribosome and i told you where these things are present also right prokaryote eukaryote right all those things that's why i told you guys to read about the things okay so exactly the correct answer is option a ribosome that means ribosome will be present in both prokaryote and eukaryote and these are not double membrane bound organelles okay so why it is that because ribosomes are only made up of the a protein and a rna okay rna will be there rna will be surrounded by a protein that's what we call it as a ribosome okay so it, it don't have any membrane or empty space nothing it don't have anything like that okay we will move on then so yesterday we will complete up to that uh, up to the way we complete up to the uh, plasma membrane today we will go little bit of have uh, a problem with this one lot of you guys are asking sir it don't have any mitochondria then what it will do how it will get the energy okay can you guys tell me what is the function of uh, mitochondria in production of energy what is the function of it does it have any function so what do you guys think what is the function why we need mitochondria only chloroplast can do the uh, energy production it will do respiration okay atp production exactly power cell exactly atp production synthesis it exactly so why we need that particular mitochondria only because it have particular enzymes and it have particular kind of membranes where actually it can produce the energy okay how it will produce the energy we will see everything in the plant physiology while we are discussing about the chemo osmotic hypothesis okay so it's like uh, it has some chemical energies and it will uh, you can say the potential kind of the energy and it will use that energy to turn some turbine okay there's a turbine inside a cell just imagine inside our cell we we have a cell and inside that cell we have a mitochondria okay inside that mitochondria we have layers so there cell layers and in that cell layers we have a turbine okay so that turbine will rotate and it will produce the energy okay just just imagine how much like depth we are going okay so it will produce the energy 
okay but uh, this prokaryotes don't have the mitochondria but it do need the energy right then what it will do this and it need us uh, it have enzymes but it don't know where to put that enzymes so this my uh, cell plasma membrane will protrude itself okay it will protrude itself in some way and make a folding like structures that is what call as the mesosome that's what called as the mesosome okay no it's not it's not it's not uh, possible jeeva mm, yeah uh so uh we can't create the mitochondria artificially complete mitochondria but we can synthesize the atp artificially okay so yeah mesosomes are here as you can see here it have a high folding rate okay in the small gap there are three components sir uh within in which small gap you are you are talking ha like in this ha in this only like it will have several branchings okay all these branchings will have the respiratory enzymes okay this will have the respiratory enzymes and so that's the use of mesosomes in one way okay so these are the enfoldings of the plasma membrane that means plasma membrane or uh, enfold and it can form vesicles tubules or lamella okay vesicles vesicles means a circular structures or it can make a tube like structures okay or it can make a lamella like structures okay lamella means a golgi you, you already seen golgi apparatus right so like a golgi apparatus it can form different lamella like kind of structures okay yes something something like this so all this can it will do okay this will produce the lamella a vesicle or tubule like up the structure by folding of the the plasma membrane okay so what it contains then it contains several kinds of the respiratory enzymes and it also have some other components okay it also have these some other components so what is the functions then okay so it have several functions as okay the first one is it help in the cell wall formation so in the bacterial cell wherever the cell wall must be there so there should be something should to produce that right so normally what happens regular plasma membrane will do or some other components will do here actually golgi operators will take care in eukaryotes and everything but here this mesosomes will help in producing the components for the cell wall that means n acetyl glycosamine or n acetyl uh, nuremic acid everything what we are talking will be produced from the the mesosomes okay and they do help in the dna replication and distribution to the daughter cell you may ask how it will be helpful because it's present in there and nucleus will be present in here uh, like there are several types of mesosomes are there that is not for your study okay there is a kind of mesosomes think that this is the cell and this is the nucleus there is a kind of the uh, this one mesosomes it will be extend up to the chromosomes okay or the chromatin this will help in the division of the dna by binding to that particular dna part and it will help in the segregating the dna into the two daughter cells okay not all mesosomes cells but for you guys no need you can just call it as a mesosome only because uh, no other extra things are in this syllabus okay so and they also help in the respiration because they have the respiratory enzymes okay they have the enzymes responsible or uh, necessary for the respiration and they have a secretion processes what is the meaning of secretion processes this can produce some of the enzymes okay or this can also produce some of the chemicals which are helpful in the day to day life of the bacteria okay so that's also there and this also increase the surface area of the plasma membrane by several enfoldings okay you guys can ask me so what is the need of uh, increasing the surface area then okay more surface area means more movement of the molecules right because all the molecules should move from the move through the plasma membrane only a larger plasma membrane structure will give the chance to get more interactive with the environment or more uh, give and take interaction kind of the interaction and can build more receptors to sense the different things which is happening surrounding to them okay exactly and ha uh -huh, exactly lipika even for the respiration also right so that will i help to take o2 or remove co2 all those things 
and also to increase the enzymatic content so exactly to help in the secretion and also in the enzyme means they will help in the production of several kinds of the enzymes you can take for the respiratory enzymes also okay so after this what is the thing you should remember is the mesosomes are the very very important component of the a bacterial cell a eukaryotic cell may have different organelles uh, for their a particular work but a mesosome will do a several work okay even though it's having of just a plasma membrane enfoldings it will do the work of several organelles okay so it will do the respiration it will do the enzymatic production it will help in the uh, this one uh, replication it will do increase the surface area okay it do the other secretions okay so uh, it help in the lot of other things also okay so these are the functions of mesosomes try to remember that okay so and remember don't think that i'm just telling from uh, something it won't come anywhere don't think like that because these are given in the textbook only okay textbook uh, letters only i made it a point so next particular one is the chromatophores what are chromatophores uh, what is the meaning of chroma chroma means color right force means a structure having structure okay so a chromatophore is a pigment containing membranous enfolding in some prokaryotes okay so you know that uh, our eukaryote will have the chloroplast right a plastid you can see it will have a chlorophyll or it may also have other kinds of the pigments right so and they will do the photosynthesis but prokaryote don't have any chloro uh, chloroplast what it have to do it created its own uh, variety of the chloroplast okay so it's exactly like um, don't uh, we can't call it as a copy or original because these only developed first right so these are the initial steps of forming the different organelles okay these chromatophores you can think like the chloroplast so how it will be it will have a pigment containing uh, foldings membranous foldings uh, in some uh, prokaryotes only like cyanobacteria and this will have bacterial chlorophyll you already know about the bacterial chlorophyll right a chlorophyll kind of the structure which is present in the bacteria right it will have the bacterial chlorophyll and it will have some other pigments also that is not needed okay so it will help in the photosynthesis why it will help it will help in the photosynthesis photo synthesis so exactly for the food production okay for the fruit pro food production you can simply think like that as you can see here the chromatophores okay the chromatophores uh, and don't think that all this long structure is a chromatophore okay only this smaller structures are the chromatophores this is a complete bacteria okay so it's a microscopic image this is the bacteria and the only dot structures what you can see here are the chromatophores okay why name name i didn't understand such thing why name means why we gave the name for that we could have given chloroplast that's what you are asking so yeah uh, you just type the question ha huh, because these are not always uh, green and it don't contain chlorophyll okay the chloroplast is a one which which will be green and have the chlorophyll but it have different kinds of the pigment and the colors will always vary okay that's why we simply gave chromatophore that means a holding structure which have color colored holding structure colored vesicle you can say okay so color may be whatever the color may be that's secondary that's why okay so that's why we didn't give the name chloroplast because it will be confusing okay so then you have to call it like minor chloroplast major chloroplast so all those things will be there that's why uh so can you refer it to as mesosome containing the pigment uh no like <laughs> it's actually foldings like that only but we already gave the name right ha huh. ref but you can't mention anywhere like uh, pigment containing mesosome you have to mention it like chromatophores okay uh chlorophyll is component of the chromatophore bacterial chlorophyll is the component of the uh, this one, chromatophore I, i write down here just check here okay there will be only one mesosome no there are like several mesosomes will be there okay depending upon the intensity of light just think about it like will bacterial classification depend on the chromatophore's colors uh actually bacteria there are like 
several classifications are there uh, and some of them did on different different kinds but we normally now for now we normally consider upon the their gram positive and gram negative nature and uh, along with the their pili and uh, what kind of strain it is and majorly depend upon dna now we are not at all considering all those membranous enfolding means simply like this only okay or it will be something like this okay ha huh. uh, the number of mesosomes will depend upon the intensity of light so think about like this the sun is here and lot of light is coming then i uh, think one mesosome is here then this mesosome foldings will be shifted from here to here and this bacteria will create lot of mesosome in this portion okay so that's why we normally observe the mesosomes in the surrounding part and not in the middle because it will be more intensive intensity will be here right right so it can produce more energy okay um yeah we will move on to the next one this nucleoid okay why we call it as a nucleoid so because here dna is not associated with not associated with sorry which protein exactly histone protein and there is no nucleus right there is no nucleus at all so how it will be the chromatin material chromatin material means dna in the aggregated form right so i will write the dna like this okay so you have to write like this so why we have to write it like this i told you right because you have to uh, show the grids you can't simply write something like this this is uh, once you know how to write it properly you can't uh, write something like this because it's not correct you have to write something with a an angle like this okay then you can, you have to cover it something like this okay so the, that's how it will become so major and minor group all those things will be secondary okay so how happens dna will be there so a kind of dna will be there and next this dna will aggregate will form the a chromatin kind of structure like this but they never form the chromosomes they never form the chromosomes chromosomes will be never formed okay the chromosomes means aggregate structure what we can see in eukaryote right that kind of structure you can't find and you can't find the nucleus also okay exactly uncondensed structure you can see okay so these are functional only and the chromatin will be functional only so that's called as nucleoid and nucleoid is the main nucleoid is the nucleoid is the genetic material nucleoid is the genetic material then uh, but without histone protein as i can say okay a genetic material this is the genetic material is there any other dna present apart from the nucleoid as yes, it contains the plasmid uh i think you remember the uh, the long definition of the plasmid right no need to write all those things now here we can simply write it like circular uh -huh. we have to write what we have to do circular double stranded then what is the what is the actual this one word another word for this one exactly self replicating self replicating extra chromosomal extra chromosomal dna in bacteria right we have another one dna that is called plasmid this will be a circular double stranded self replicating and extra chromosomal dna in bacteria why what is the use of this then we already have one uh, this one nucle uh, nucleoid why we should have another one uh, dna okay we need we need it this uh, plasmid will have some of the characters like uh, it may cause the fertility that means uh, the, the conjugation okay you know the conjugation exactly and it also have the nif factor okay what is the nif factor can anybody guess and it will also cause the r factor okay so can anybody tell me what's the nif factor and what's the r factor i'll be happy if someone somebody told me what's nif factor and what's r factor 
fertility means uh, which help in the conjugation process or which can do the conjugation if you remember and nif factor means which help in the nitrogen fixation can at least can you guys give me a example for the uh, this one a bacteria which can fix the nitrogen exactly r factor so many people told correctly ha huh. mayeshapa correct exactly bro resistance resistance factor which will give the resistance to the other bacteria ha huh. anabina uh, nostoc yeah it do have right but it have some only a part of the cells like only heterocyst can do the thing uh, bacteria any other bacteria bacteria i'm just talking about bacteria any bacteria which can do the nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation i'm not talking about photosynthesis you guys know you left out one important thing actually one important bacteria ha ah, right correct jeevan right ha ah, manvita so many guys are answering now rhizobium right rhizobium will do the nitrogen fixation even cyanobacteria will also do right we have several other also okay rhizobacter azetobacter okay acetobacter so like uh, several different kinds of bacteria will be there they will do the nitrogen fixation right so some of your syllabus is already over i think you guys know you learnt in the plant physiology right so correct gopika right so nif factor will be present is a gene uh, correct shailaja will be present in the so uh, that plasmid which help in the nitrogen fixation and it also have r factor which give the resistance to the the toxins of the other bacteria okay so that's the important which related to the r factor so we will move on uh, any any doubts guys regarding nucleus nucleide or plasmid if you have any doubt uh, you can uh, put that in chat box in both ways otherwise we can move on okay uh, otherwise click on yes or no if we if you guys think we can move on you can click on yes if you guys think we should repeat or anything you can click on no ha huh. i will i will repeat that okay thank you okay so the bacteria will normally have two uh, kinds of the dna okay yeah i will explain one second okay uh, okay okay yeah i'll come back to that i will come from the start nucleoid the bacteria will have two dna okay if i write down the bacteria here only you can think bacteria will be having the two actual dnas one will be the uh, nucleoid another will be the plasmid remember uh, this is not highly necessary okay this is not highly necessary to have both of that but nucleoid presence will be 100% sure plasmid may be present or may not be present okay dna okay so uh, I, will, i will i will explain everything this nucleoid is a dna it is not associated with the histone protein as you can see you can see only thread like structure right that is actually the dna okay why there is two different color because we will differentiate dna into two different types we will learn that when we are discussing about the dna okay so uh, don't take tension so it, these are the dna but these are not uh, associated with any protein that's why it will not form the chromosome kind of the structure what we can see in the other organisms eukaryotes okay yeah naked dna exactly you forgot that word so i will use a different color one sec so we can call it as the naked dna right because it don't have the histone protein so uh, this dna is called genomic dna or genetic dna or it's also called as gonophore okay gene sorry genophore you call it as the um nucleoid or we call it as the genophore okay or we call it as genetic dna okay mm. chromatin means simply dna thread of dna okay chromatin means thread of dna that much only okay i will write down the meaning also the chromatin means thread of dna thread of dna so wherever you can see when we it's a like single we call it as a dna when there is like lot of dna are there we call it as a thre thread of dna or chromatin okay so we call it as genomic dna or gene of four or nucleoid because this will control all the uh, bacterial activity okay all bacterial activity come controlled by the nucleoid only okay then there is another dna also that's called as 
plasmid the plasmid is also extra cellular dna okay this is sorry extra chromosomal dna that means this is not included in the nuclear this is a separate set of dna i don't have any function in controlling complete body activity but it do have some of the functions like it will control the fertility factor that means uh, ability of the bacteria to go for the conjugation right we discussed in the second chapter if it have the plasmid then it will be a positive then it can uh, produce the sex pili and it can give the its the plasmid the dna it will replicate into and give it to some other organism some other bacteria if it don't have any fertility factor it can't do the conjugation process okay it may also have the nis factor that means nitrogen fixation factor only having this factor only the particular uh, bacteria get the ability to uh, this one fix the nitrogen okay third one is the r factor that's called resistance factor okay resistance factors uh, is give the resistance to the certain antibiotic antibiotic means you think about antibacterial if you put some chemical if the dna that particular bacteria will die then you call it as a antibacterial if bacteria produce something then even though you added the same chemical the bacteria will not die then what we call it we call it as the the bacteria will get the resistance to that particular chemical right from where that resistance will come the resistance will come from the the plasmid which will having the r factor okay uh, is chromatin material present in bacteria or only in eukaryote remember we normally call chromatin uh, so like in depth it's like completely having different meaning for uh, you guys okay for you guys uh, with related to your textbook just think like a chromatin means thread of dna uh, that is present you can think right in uh, eukaryote we call it as chromosome because chromatin will be more uh, what you can say condensed to form the uh, chromosome there but here we simply call it as a chromatin we won't use the term chromosome all the time okay children now only told bro like three times i told nif means nitrogen help in nitrogen fixation r factor means help in the resistance for the antibiotics okay ha huh, exactly manvita okay so any any more doubts or do you guys didn't hear anything so uh, these are the structures i'm not going for flagella and <laughs> where you went bro like uh, probably you you are disconnected from the class or something so i i will explain about the other characters in the next slide okay so one more time uh, remember about these things fertility factor which help in conjugation nif factor which help in the nitrogen fixation that's why nif nitrogen fixation okay r factor will help in the resistance to antibiotic okay resistance to antibiotic i will write down all the things because you will forgot the things or you will ask again that's why okay so these are the things next other surface structures so that's the first one is the flagella okay so can you guys tell me what is the function of flagella function of the flagella flagella or flagellum singular or the plural exactly flagella will help in the movement or you can say locomotion okay movement or you can say locomotion even though both words are different here we can consider it as the same because it help in the both things okay it help in the movement of the the particular bacteria and it will have also help in the locomotion of the bacteria okay so how it will be which protein uh, flagella is made up of which protein which protein help to build or to made flagella no 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 uh, like uh, plasmella not normally help in capturing food or anything it will help in the locomotion so which protein guys you can you can say i think you can remember this like it's a easy one exactly it's the flagellin protein right it's a flagellin flagellin protein which help in the made up this okay and if you see here this structure is not complex a single thread single single protein thread not single protein thread single line arrangement is here okay why i am saying single line arrangement is here uh, probably if it's completed in cbs you saw that if you go for the eukaryotes in that you will see 9 plus 2 kind of the arrangement in flagella okay in eukaryotic flagella if you take a section it will be it looks something like this okay 
so it so look something like this everything is interconnected on all the things so more complex but here it's not complex it's very 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 simple okay it only has single line arrangement a single a plagiolin protein will form a single rope like structure that's what actually helping in the moment okay so uh, does can you uh, explain it more uh, how can you say more properly if you go for the plagiolin we will divide into three types one is the basal body second one is the hook and the third one is the filament okay i will write down here is also one more time what are the classification one is the basal body yeah i will tell you no and another one is the hook and another one is the filament okay what is the use of the basal body then uh, basal body will embed itself embed means penetrate inside the the layers or the what we can say the cell layers okay embed in the cell layers embed in cell layers so it will give the a base a proper base to the this particular flagella and what is the use of hook hook will help in the rotation okay hook is the one actually it's doing the rotation thing what is the filament is doing filament is the extended part extension part so it will help in the it's act like a wing okay it's act like a wing okay extended part even the hook is rotating hook is small the filament is the larger thing which is actually doing the thing okay if you rotate something okay think that you rotated uh, you you are rotating something okay you are rotating pen only okay then here your body is connected right your uh, hand is connected to your body that you can call it as a basal right basal part okay and hook is for the rotation so the, uh, think about your hand you are doing the rotation and think about pen as a filament so it's what doing it okay so there actually the cm uh, the pg and another one thing is there om is there those are the different layers what we are encountering in there uh, you can answer them only okay so depending upon their uh, arrangement right cell membrane peptidoglycan that means cell wall layer and outside one will be the glycocalyx layer okay so those are the layer uh, they mentioned om probably uh they are mentioning about some membrane okay osmotic something membrane but these are the three layers what we are discussing in the earlier class right so i will mention it so outer one is the glycocalyx glycocalyx exactly and this one is the peptidoglycan that means cell wall and the last one is the cell membrane or you can call it as the plasma membrane also okay in that only it will be Uh, like embedded okay so deep it's embedded deeply ha ah, exactly ha ah, outer membrane probably probably outer membrane only okay glycocalyx o om means ha ah. so the, this is the structure of the the flagella or the plagiolin protein so what is the difference between plagiola and cilia then uh, can anybody answer me what is the difference between plagiola and cilia we actually mentioned one difference if you remember right when we are mentioning about flagella cilia cili and fimbria i told you something where something will be present and something will be pre not present exactly flagella will be long and cilia will be normally short and flagella will be ha huh, exactly exactly akshay akshay manvita and deepika there should so many people answer correctly cilia is only present in the eukaryotes and it's not at all present in the prokaryotes flagella may be present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes but structure is different sneha ha exactly sneha you also right so ha correct cilia not present in the prokaryotes it's only present in the eukaryotes uh, and the plagiola is normally longer than the cilia also okay ha huh, exactly jayant so many people answer correctly okay i can't tell the names that much names are there okay uh, thank god you remember something okay i'm happy <laughs> so finally so next one is the pili and fimbria next things so what's the function of pili so you guys answer this question also right pili are only present in the f positive bacteria it only present in f positive bacteria that means which having the f uh, factor plasmid right exactly pili is also called as we also call this as a sex pili because this help in the reproduction what is the name of that reproduction exactly 
reproduction what is that it will help in the formation of the conjugation tube right formation of a conjugation tube that's what we call it as the conjugation right conjugation tube um uh, what is conjugation then conjugation means if one bacteria is here another one bacteria is here and you guys think the uh, sorry it have one uh, dna and it have another one dna okay i will use different colors so don't get confused color uh, this one dna so that part first one actually want to transfer it is genetic material from here to here it will form a sex pili or conjugation tube later it will form how it will happen it will join to the both uh, bacteria and then this dna will replicate and it will transfer to the another one bacteria and other bacteria will integrate the other dna in itself right so it's a complex process not transformation ha uh, so here the dna will be transferring from here to the here okay uh, but we can't call it as like transformation because transformation is a different type right transformation transformation means grabbing the dna which is easily available so that's why we use it use the word transfer of dna from one bacteria to the another bacteria through a conjugation tube or through a tube we call it as the conjugation okay type of the reproduction so function of fimbri some of you already told the function of fimbri is normally for the attachment attachment or adhering to the surface right adhering to surface or substrate i gave the example of your uh, uh, floor of the bathroom right in floor of the bathroom what happens is normally uh, slippery because the bacteria will be attaching there using the fimbri right surface or the substratum you can use any term okay after replication no sir dna transfer ha huh. ha huh. after replication uh, no sir dna transfer means ha huh. after replication only dna transfers exactly i don't tell not replication i told we can't say the word uh, transformation we can ha huh. we can use the say transportation transportation means there should be something a vehicle should be there that's why simply say replication and transfer transfer of the dna okay where is fimbria okay so here you can see right fimbria is present all over the body it's not like that sometimes it's present only somewhere only here you can say all these are the fimbria okay so these are the different fimbria which is present all over the body think and how can you differentiate between a fimbria and pili you can ask this okay the sex pili are normally uh, comparatively larger that means thicker and comparatively longer as you can observe here because the pilus or the pili singular and plural okay it have to go and attach to the some other bacteria right it need uh, it should be little longer but fimbria will be comparatively shorter okay and thinner because the only function is to attach to the surface there is nothing is transferring in between okay plazola you can compare how much large it is right because it have to do the movement okay so all those things both will not have locomotory function exactly exactly that's really good okay remember fili and fimbria not help in any locomotion okay bristle means uh, your toothpaste will have right exactly bristle like we normally call it as that means toothpaste will have all the uh, this one right mm, what is it what you call it we call it as bristle right like that okay it's arranged like that million large sir ha 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 fimbria is like that ha ah, it looks like the, you can you can uh, think with the uh, fimbria it looks like the cilia but it's not a cilia okay cilia is used in locomotion it's not used in the locomotion so i will write down that also okay i will write, write down that thing both not help in locomotion both of them not help in the locomotion you have to remember that okay don't try it fimbria or sex pili will help in the locomotion it don't do ah simple bro uh, so i will write down so ha huh, this is the toothbrush right this toothbrush will have some this kind of structures right above this this is called bristle so this fimbria it also looks like the bristles of the toothbrush on the bacteria okay something else has to attach to the ha huh, fimbria is the one which is actually helping in the attachment okay fimbria is the one which is actually helping in especially in host parasite interaction exactly okay if you take a example of gonorrhea gonorrhea is a 
sexually transmitting diseases uh, they are actually the bacterial pathogen is a nigeria okay so nigeria will have a fimbries which actually attached to the the genitalia okay sexually transmitted diseases means the disease which transmission will happen through the uh, process of sex right when doing the when doing the copulation sorry when going for the sexual uh, sexual um, this one processes the bacteria will transfer or jump from one host to the another host maybe may to from the male to the female or female to the male or male to male or female to female okay so that's how it will affect the gonorrhea disease will be affected okay nigeria is the best example for having much uh, good kind of the fimbries okay so i think you guys understand amit have any doubt or any other got it got it so okay then we will move on then okay if you have any doubt just put it uh, spelling of not nice ha nigeria n i s g okay s e nigeria so one question came try to answer the question okay uh, subunit of prokaryotic ribosomes are subunits of prokaryotic ribosomes are 60s 40s 50s 30s 40s 30s 50s 20s so this is also one of the easiest question i think right so i'm <laughs> i'm relaunching the poll i don't think you guys need any time to think but uh, take time to answer yeah so we'll see how many of you like uh, nandish you have to think bro think one more time we know certain things we know what is the meaning of s s means swedberg unit it's a uh, uh, what is it swedberg unit is the sedimentation coefficient right so this maths won't work like regular maths we know all those things you you have to tell pawan i don't know okay <laughs> so i i'm waiting in uh, youtube also okay last 15 seconds <laughs> i know i know some of you that's what i told right it's not like regular maths something will happen in between right because it's not a regular waving unit it's a sedimentation coefficient that's why the changes will happen okay i'm ending the pool in 3 seconds okay i'm in the pool i am sharing the result 20% choose an option a 57% b 17% c 6% d i in youtube uh, everyone went for the option d okay so we will see so we will uh, merge it down first okay so what happens there are like two kinds of uh, ribosomes on the present one is the 70s ribosome another one is the 80s ribosome where 70s ribosome can be found it's found in the prokaryotes where 80s will be found it's present in the eukaryote okay so then what is the sub components that's why jayant asked the question like uh, uh, like what is the uh, prokaryote sorry prokaryotic ribosome uh, this one number okay i asked about sub units okay the 70s sub units is formed from the which one it is formed from the which are the sub units of that exactly it will be formed from the uh, 50s plus 30s that means 50 60 70 80 but the issue is it's the sedimentation coefficient so one thing will be removed and the eukaryotes is increased in 10 in two things that will be 60s and the 40s right so if you add up like a regular it will become 100 but it's not 100 it's the 80s okay it will be the structure will be somewhat like this not this much difference ha ah, you can remember like that some of the subunit is not equals to the uh, total one okay you can remember like that also okay 30s and 50s and 40s and 60s don't think that this is like this only it's just a 2d structure okay to demonstrate the 3d structure because it's a protein there are like different conformations will be there okay the Uh, 3D conformation of these ribosomes will be highly different. Okay, so the correct answer is 50s and the 30s. Okay, one will be removed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, 60s and ha. Uh, if you go for in that way, you can go right. 60, 40s are you carry out. So this is not the answer. And there is uh, 40s and 30s. Uh, these things are not at all existed. Okay, these things are not at all existed. Every time 10 subtract. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, you can do that. Okay, 
these are not existed this is in eukaryotes so correct answer is option b good guys so many people answered correctly okay others just revise it okay next is the ribosome that's why i included that one in there okay so here you can see both the eukaryotic and prokaryotic ribosome for now you can simply uh, remove these things because we don't need about the eukaryotic things now okay so we don't need about any information about the eukaryotic thing for now uh, so we will learn that in the uh, later on okay the first thing it have a ribosome so what is the common name for the ribosome can anybody tell me what is the common name for the ribosome we call it as like mitochondria we call it as like energy factory uh, does we have any name for the ribosome exactly these are the protein factories okay what is the meaning of this this ribosomes will produce the proteins okay this ribosomes will produce the proteins so proteins there are like thousands of there okay types of proteins are there how the difference of different types of proteins will come then okay different types of protein uh, will be made by rearranging the amino acids okay do you guys know how many primary amino acid we have can anybody tell me how many primary amino acids we have okay okay not four not four not 64 also ha uh, in textbook in some of the books 20 is given we normally call it as 21 amino acid no issue don't take tension about it okay 20 or 21 amino acids <laughs> okay and the length of the protein may be from several that means a few uh, amino acids because proteins are made up of the amino acids okay it's like you are chained uh, you are chain what you will chain we will have right like that only if every individual is a single bead when you make it in a line it will become a chain right exactly a single amino acid like a bead when you uh, arrange it in order it will become a protein or a chain okay so remember polymer of the amino acid ha so just imagine 21 amino acids are there and you can arrange it from like 5 to 6 amino acids also and you can arrange it like thousands of amino acids also okay just go for the how much um, what we can say uh, shuffling we can do right how much things you can how how many types of proteins you can make so there are like thousands of thousands of ha, varieties you can make thousands of thousands of proteins are there okay so those proteins arrangement of those proteins are done in the ribosomes okay these won't produce the amino acids they only do the they, it's exactly like what we will do you guys will bring the uh, beads from the uh, this one shop right then you will take the uh, something and uh, you will uh, make a chain right exactly like this ribosome won't make the amino acid they will only join the amino acids okay exactly linking of amino acids to form the protein exactly they will do the linking of the amino acid to form the protein thank you <laughs> lipika for the line okay sentence so so what happens here so it's made up of two components one is the 30s sub component as you can see here okay 30s smaller sub unit and there will be another one larger sub unit that's called as the 50s sub unit because the unit is 50 okay then it will add and will form this 70s uh, sub unit okay this is the complete 70s sub unit okay what it will do it will present throughout the bacteria it will help to produce whatever the uh, molecule it have to produce okay then what are the composition of this as you can see here it have a 5s rna and another one 23s rna and uh, in the lower sub unit will have this 16s rn remember whenever we are writing we may join like this but arrangement will be the larger will be in the above and the smaller sub unit will be below okay smaller sub unit will be below so larger will be contain some rnas and smaller will contain some rna no need to take tensions because uh, because this uh, name of the rnas will become in the only 12th not in the 11th okay ha exactly okay so today are you giving after this class what 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 i'm giving i didn't understand ha uh, this uh, protein will read the mrna chain mrna is like a messenger rna it will be having coded message to make a protein okay don't think much simply think like mrna is like a chip which have the message to do it like this okay mrna i will write down here so think that this is the mrna 
mRNA will have some message. Okay, the message will be something like this. Okay, you first add the uh, lysine, then add the some another one, methionine, and uh, then add the arginine, then add the uh, something like cysteine. Okay, some message will be there by reading this mRNA. Okay, ha. Huh, by reading this mRNA, uh, this. Uh, ribosome will produce that particular one it will add the lysine first then it will add the methionine then it will add the arginine then it will add the cyst sorry cysteine okay then our protein is formed okay then our protein is formed this is how actually the ribosome will work okay i will write the ribosome from where this mrna came from this mrna came from the dna okay dna will give rise to mrna mrna will give rise to this signal signal will be read by the uh this ribosome okay ribosome and ribosome will interpret it and form the protein oh my video gone i didn't sometime that won't work okay ha you can call it as a mediator between the nucleus and the ribosome ha you can call it that way i think i missed some of the question ha information about the assigning and ah that's what uh, uh, not today uh, they will inform uh, shiva sir will inform when the mentorship program is there okay then what produces proteins we consume the protein and our body will disintegrate the protein to form the amino acids we can't create the uh, protein directly like that okay there are some other methods are there does m stand for messenger exactly m stands for the messenger okay m stand for the messenger rna okay we will learn that that's also there in the next so uh, this is the function of the ribosome okay this is the function of the ribosome so uh, this is this kind of the ribosome actually present in the Mm, prokaryotes, 50s, 30s, 70s ribosomes, as you can say. Okay, but sometimes what happens? There will be only one mRNA will be there. Okay, but we need lot of protein. Okay, we need only one mRNA is there, but we need lot of protein. Then what is what these things will do? Several ribosomes, ha, huh, anabolic activity, ha, huh, you can say. Several ribosomes will attached on the mRNA and they will start to produce these things. Okay, remember. new thing is attaching from this side it's attaching and it's actually reading and it's creating the new polypeptide chain that means protein chain and it's going out from the here by creating a polypeptide chain here you can see right new things will be attaching from here and it's doing it by using the to using a single mrna the many ribosomes can create hundreds of uh, polypeptide chains or proteins okay so why we call for that what we call okay the thing is when several ribosomes may attach to single mrna and form a chain like structure we call it as poly ribosomes poly means many that means many ribosomes are attached or we simply call it as polysomes okay instead of calling it poly ribosomes we also call it as like polysomes okay ha huh, exactly next the ribosomes of the polysomes translate the mrna into the protein you can call it as the anabolic process okay what they will do they will transfer this mrna signals into the a kind of the proteins depending upon the the message okay so we will go to the next one we also have inclusion bodies okay what is the meaning of inclusion bodies uh, this bacterial cells will have certain a kind of body like structures okay this contains several materials okay as you can see here there are some structures in here right this will contain some molecules okay so what it will contain sometimes reserve material in the prokaryotic cells it will be stored inside a body a membrane okay inside a membrane so uh, that's called as inclusion body okay these are not bounded by a kind of the membrane system what we can see here okay so it is simply a kind of molecules which is present around a thin layer of anything okay it is not bounded by a membrane system what we can see in the uh, vacu uh, what we can see in the chloroplast or in the mitochondria okay there are like complex membrane system is there but here nothing like is there this is like a bag like structure which will hold something okay the examples will be phosphate granules cyanofission granules glycogen granules different types are there but depending upon what it is contain we made into three different types okay one is the gas vacuoles okay what is the gas vacuoles then gas vacuoles are the one which contain the uh, which will contain the different gases inside the bodies of the bacteria okay you may ask so what is the use of having gas inside us 
okay yes it has some functions okay it normally have different kinds of the gas this gases will help in the respiration normally for the respiration and some of them will say that ah, i will show jivan once again yeah you guys uh, some of you are writing it you write it okay so uh, no need to write these things because these are the same lines taken from the cbs textbook so you can write later also okay mm, yeah so majorly they will help in the respiration okay they will also shield the organism shield from the radiation okay so okay respiration we can agree to that very easily we know that gas is used for the respiration and how can we say the shield from the radiation okay so this is not 100% true like a thing okay we don't know exactly how it's happening practically but we know how it's happening hypothetically okay what happens uh think this is a bacteria and think that these are the inclusion bodies and here you can find the dna okay dna is very important for that particular uh this one right any organisms so any radiation will harm the dna and it will destroy the organism only think that there is some uv radiation is coming then due to the difference in their uh, density uh, there are like different kinds of metal right this will be water normally outer side way air a bacteria normally present in water rich media think that this is a water the diffraction will be happens then there will be again a cytoplasm a thick uh, membrane is there again diffraction will happen again it contains the gas again that thing will happen it actually help in the redistribution of the uv light and other radiation which actually protect the dna they will say like that okay but uh, nobody knows that it actually happening in that way only or not still work is going on okay so normally we can say it as there for the respiration and shielding from the radiation according to the book okay so second one they may also contain inorganic inclusions these inorganic inclusions may contain ha bagishri you raised your hand yeah if you have any doubt you can ask in the chat box okay uh it uh, no no you from uv radiation and there are several radiation causes the cancer sir will it helps in a floating ha huh, probably that may also do okay ha huh, that's also there help in the uh buoyancy buoyancy means floating right i wrote the spelling from buoyancy okay it help in the buoyancy also that means in the floating also okay they do have the inorganic inclusions these inorganic inclusions may contain phosphates okay regularly about the phosphates because that's the needed and sometime uh, this one calcium okay and sometime iron and sometime the sulfur okay it contains several kinds of the granules which actually help them okay uh, there are some organisms are there they have some rare metals also okay they may contain some of the rare metals also we still don't know what it's useful some of them contain uh, this one magnetosomes okay magnetosomes contains uh, a magnetite okay why it will contain the magnetite or anything because it will help in orienting itself uh, within uh, to the uh, environment and all the things okay it's like too complex we will leave all those things it's not needed but this inclusion bodies contain inorganic inclusions contain several molecule several inorganic molecules which may be useful for the bacteria in one way or another okay so food reservoir you can think about cyanophyce and starch cyanophyce and starch what we normally see in the cyanobacteria right bg what is the meaning of bga can anybody answer what is the meaning of bga 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 ha chandra done wait for 2 minutes exactly brune blue sorry blue green algae okay ha ah, blue green algae bga means blue green algae remember don't ask me again what's the meaning of bga okay i'm not writing it here so they may contain cyanophyce and uh, starch but other things don't contain starch but they contain the glycosion okay they may contain the glycosion because bacteria normally contain the glycosion uh, but other contain cyanophyce and starch some other contain some other molecules like some more complex molecules that's also that's all for the food reserve okay exactly uh, that's for the food reserve okay these are the three types of the inclusion bodies okay inclusion bodies types inclusion bodies types 
uh, in textbook they won't given the types i just want to mention it so i added this one slide okay so one cf you came try to answer this what is true about ribosomes okay how can they found those rare element as it's very do humans also <laughs> those are present in soil only we only present in above and we will try to do find in somewhere else right yes mm okay so what is true about ribosomes they are composed of a oh, second sorry guys yeah uh, they are composed of ribonucleic acid and proteins they are found only in eukaryotic cell these are self self slicing introns of some rnas the prokaryotic ribosomes are ats where the s stands for sedimentation coefficient okay i am launching the pool if you read the question properly you can answer quickly right yes pool is launched you can answer in the pool and who are in the youtube live chat can answer in the uh... <laughs> okay i will lock it okay uh, so remember when you don't know about something don't take it about that we are saying it from the initial days right if you don't know about something just uh, leave it okay don't take tension think about something which you know so i'm waiting for the answers guys still only 40% ki people answered okay i'm getting answers in the youtube also we will see which one is correct ha huh, i will tell you they just ha huh, you don't know right that's why i told you don't don't think about the things you don't know so this question is asked in ampmt uh, preliminary 2012 okay uh, so those things will be ha huh. Okay then, I will end the poll. Time is already over. I am sharing the results. Sixty-two percent choose an option A, seven percent B, ten percent C, and twenty percent D. And in YouTube, everyone choose an option A. Good guys, Gopika, Ashwini, and Ashwin and Anu. Uh, sorry, sorry, bro. Okay. Uh, so uh, we will see. What is true about ribosomes? They are asking. Yes, uh, we learned this right. Uh, ha. Huh. the prokaryotic ribosomes are ats we are stands for the sedimentation coefficient we can remove this because we know that prokaryotic ribosome is 70s right second one they are self splicing introns of some rna you don't know what is the meaning of self splicing you don't know about introns you don't know about what is some rna right it simply means the mrna can be divide itself and it will form a structure which can code for the some protein okay it's mind blowing don't take tension about it you can remove this you don't know about it right you will uh, we will learn that in 12th class these are only found only in eukaryotic cell this is also wrong because you can find it in prokaryotic cell then what's the correct answer these are composed of the ribonucleic acid and protein is the correct answer these are composed of the ribonucleic acid and proteins we already seen right so aapmt means all india pre medical test this is the older name for the need neat old name okay old name later they changed the name and did it like this okay so i'm launching the teacher nps guys uh, that much for today if you have any doubt you can remain here and uh, you can ask for the doubts otherwise you can leave the class after completing the nps okay uh, pre means uh, pre, uh, there's the pre exam sometimes exam will be conducted two times sometimes some changes will happen all because of that they will call like pre and second cancelled all those things will be added after the amp amp need is there bio test tomorrow no uh, there is no bio test tomorrow because uh, third and fourth uh, batch the chapter is not over it guys remember what's the ha huh, what is the this one guys homework read the same thing read the cbse textbook properly okay try to solve some questions if you have any doubt just post it in the group okay ah uh, like uh, like so many times uh, we are reading the same things right that's why lipika okay so like i am reading it the same thing in another level also uh Uh, they will be informed okay when it will be start they will intimate in the group so don't take tension ha huh. so when you read it when you answer the question they are like i am also happy right so we will go on like properly and we are move on properly uh, so otherwise like it like hindering there and there 
Avanti notes and solve second chapter. Same thing, exactly. Read NCERT, uh, read Avanti notes, and solve a second chapter module. And uh, this module also try to solve. If you already did second chapter module, and if you are waiting, you can start doing this. I will send this uh, chapter module today. Okay, I will start. I will send it today or tomorrow morning. I will try to find. Don't take tension, Kiran. We will try to complete it as soon as possible. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, here in YouTube, guys, any doubts or anything? Thank you, thank you. Then second, third, fifth teacher in this question always doing this. Uh, really? Okay, okay. Ha, Prajwal. I will show the sec mRNA slide. Which one? mRNA. Ha, this one. Thank you. I shall sir went to there. He went there. Okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Then I will close the YouTube session.